Hi, my name is Doug Cito, Senior Technical Support Engineer for Tipco Jaspersoft Corporation. Today we're going to cover exposing the different uh, UIs that are available when you are attempting to create custom data sources on the Jasper Report Server application. Jasper Report Server comes with several custom data sources that you can create on the repository, ranging from text-based data sources, remote XML, JSON, and so forth. And so today we're going to go over creating the remote XML data source, as well as the text-based data source. Now to start, we're actually going to need to make a configuration change in one of the XML files. So if we drill down and go to where we have Jasper Report Server deployed, you're going to uh, locate this file, application context remote services.xml. And you'll see here where if you do a search for custom data sources to hide, what you'll do is you will comment out the data source that you want to work with. So if we just take a couple of examples here, let's say we want to expose the remote XML data source. as well as the text-based data source. Go ahead and save the file, and then you'll want to restart or start the Jasper Report server. Now that we're logged into Jasper Report server, if I go ahead and do a create for a new data source, you'll see in the type dropdown the additional data sources that you can actually work with. So in our example, we enabled the remote XML data source as well as the text data source. Each of these have their own uh, requirements that you'll want to uh, enter in there so that you can have a fully working custom data source. In the example of the remote XML data source, what you'll need are two things. You'll need the URL, which will point to the um, XML file that you have, as well as the XPath query that you're going to use to query that file. And just to give you a brief example, So here you see a example remote XML data source. And here it takes a URL to an XML file that's out there uh, in perhaps your own application server or what have you. And you'll also have the uh, XPath query, which will query that XML file. And once you have this set up, you can go ahead and create a domain like I have here and then you'll be able to create ad hoc views with it and so forth. Similarly, you can, uh, if we take a look at an example text-based data source, you see here that for the text-based data source, what you'll need to do is specify the date pattern, field delimiter, the file path where you have the uh, text file. And in my example, I have a, a CSV file, which is actually located uh, in this uh, in this path sitting on the file disk. And if you have the first row uh, containing labels instead of data, you want to make sure that you set this to false so that Jasper doesn't try to read that first row as actual data. Once you've viewed that the custom data sources that you're working with are working fine, you can go ahead and create anything from domains to add-on views and use those within your dashboards. 
And the two examples that we have are just part of the custom data sources that are available. And if you take a look at the configuration file, you'll see that we actually have several custom data sources available that you can enable in Jasper Port Server. And you can go ahead and uh, use one of these for your own purposes. Thank you for watching.